This question asks, what is the surface temperature of the Earth uh, if it acts as a black body radiator? OK, so we have this picture here. Uh, we have the sun, which provides incident radiation to the Earth. And the Earth itself uh, radiates uh, the power that it's received. So we assume that the system acts in a steady state manner, meaning that it does not change through time. And so because the Earth is a black body, and it radiates all of the energy that it receives, uh, we can start with a very simple relationship that in this steady state setup, the incident power must be equal to the power that the Earth is radiating. So we can build an equation for P incident, we can build an equation for P radiation, and we can extract temperature through the Stefan-Boltzmann law, which is flux equals the Stefan-Boltzmann constant, which you can look up online, times uh, temperature to the fourth power. OK, so let's start with an equation for P incident. How would we describe the radiation that the Earth receives? Well, we're given that the solar flux is 1,370 watts per meter squared. And we can make a simplifying assumption that the Earth receives all of its power uh, proportionally to its cross-sectional area. So we can say that because power equals flux times area, that P incident, the radiation that the Earth receives, equals the solar flux times the cross-sectional area of the Earth, which is pi r squared, where r is the radius of the Earth. OK. What about P radiation? So let's come back up here to the Stefan-Boltzmann law. What is the radiative flux? Well, the radiative flux rad, must be equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann law, sigma t4. And so the radiative power must be equal to this flux times some area term. OK. Well, because the Earth is a black body radiator, it must be radiating across its entire surface area. And so this area term must be the surface area of the Earth. So let's come back over here. And we can say that P rad equals F rad times 4 pi r squared, which is the surface area of a sphere. And that must be equal to sigma t fourth times 4 pi r squared. OK. So now we have an equation for the incident power. And we have an equation for the radiative power. So let's come back over here to this steady state equation. P incident must be equal to P radiation. So F solar uh, times uh, pi r squared must be equal to sigma t to the fourth times 4 pi r squared. All right, you can see where we're heading with this. We can rearrange this equation for temperature now. OK, so this, uh, once we do all of the math, we get that temperature must be equal to F solar times pi r squared divided by uh, 4 pi r squared sigma. And that is to the 1 fourth power. And we see that the pi r squareds cancel. And so we're left with T equals F solar divided by 4 sigma. And that's to the 1 fourth power. And so if we uh, take our solar flux here, 1,370 watts per meter squared, and we plug it in here, uh, and we take sigma and we plug it in, we get a surface temperature of 278 degrees Kelvin. Now, it's important to know that this is not the surface temperature of the Earth. And that's because the Earth isn't a perfect black body radiator. It reflects some of the energy. It has an uh, atmosphere that holds in some of the energy. 
And so it does not work uh, as a perfect black body radiator. And if you wanted to get a little bit more elaborate, let's say you wanted to introduce uh, an albedo term to this equation, uh, which is just some percentage uh, of the energy that might be reflected by the Earth and not perfectly absorbed. Um, well, this just acts as a dampening term, necessarily. Uh, it just dampens uh, the radiative flux. And so let's say, you know, 31% of the energy might be uh, deflected and not absorbed by the Earth. Uh, well, you can come over here and just say that 1 minus 0.31, because we're just assuming that this is our alb albedo, times F rad, and that's sort of the dampening term right here. And so if you knew this, you can actually uh, plug this back into this equation and get a little bit more of a sophisticated answer. Uh, but that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.